Hey guys, what is going on? It's Excludo, and today I am doing a seed review. Now, this is probably one of the best survival island seeds out there. Now, I know it doesn't look like much from up top, but underneath these two islands, there is one massive ravine, which is where this leads to. And um, over there is a mine shaft with, or sorry, no, over there is the start of a mine shaft with a secret chest in it, which is pretty awesome. And the far pillar out there is a zombie spawner. And uh, there's two chests in there, both filled with some pretty good stuff. Now, also, the mine shafts and the ravines in this map are filled with stuff. There's so many diamonds and iron and stuff in this map. It's incredible. Anyway, so you spawn literally about right here. And on this island, there's not much. I mean, you got um, some tall grass, and that's about it. But if you head over to this island, uh, you got some sheep and some cows, so you can easily start... Uh, Farming them or whatever, breeding them, <laughs> you know, and there's some seeds also over here so you can start a pretty nice farm. You got one tree and some sugar cane. So, above ground's pretty boring, but now let's head underground and check out this these areas. So, this is the ravine that I'm heading down into right now. And uh, these red stone blocks aren't actually there, I just put them there so I don't get lost. Anyways, if we head down this way, we can see just how much stuff is exposed. I mean, there's there's gold, some a whole bunch of coal, some redstone, and I'm sure you already saw it glistering, glistening, whatever, <laughs> whatever the word is, is the diamond right here. Now, I'm not going to destroy any blocks behind it to see if there's more diamonds. I'll let leave that surprise to you guys when you try out this map and everything. And um, But the bottom of this uh, ravine is all lava the whole way through, except where the water is dropping down. So it's kind of hard to navigate, but, you know, it's pretty good. Um, anyways, if we head down here, this is the start of the mine shaft. Also, you can see just a ton of more of natural resources, or sorry, well, minerals just hanging out of the walls here. You know, we got some iron and some more gold and everything. And then here's the start of the mine shaft, and I'll get into that later. I'm going to head back up. And go to a different entrance that I have for the mine shaft. And also, I'll leave the coordinates to all these locations in the description so you can check them out for yourselves. Anyway, so if we head back up here and we head over to this location over here, this is the start of the mine shaft. So let me just drop, oops, let me just drop down here. And, bloop, here we are. This is the start of the mine shaft and also where the secret chest is. And if we look inside this chest, we can see three iron ingots and five pumpkin seeds, pumpkin seeds, <laughs> which isn't that bad. And this is the mine shaft filled with iron and a couple diamonds as well, which is pretty awesome. Um, I'm not going to explore the mine shaft too much yet. We'll save that for last. So we'll head back up here and head to our final pillar location thing which is out over here and this is the zombie spawner and I like what I like about this map is that everything is relatively close to the to the island I mean you got the mine shaft right there and the ravine right under the island so it's it's pretty good how close everything is I mean you don't really have to go way out into the water to um, find stuff anyway so if we drop down here this is the mob spawner area and this mob spawner was actually kinda hard to find I'm sure a lot of people would miss it but I'm I'm pretty observant, so I noticed it. I noticed this mossy cobble, m mossy cobble on the ground right here, and I just kind of broke my way through, and then I found the chest and everything. So uh, let's just head in here. Inside this chest, you'll find four wheat, three gut pieces of gunpowder, a name tag, which is pretty awesome, a music disc, two bread, and five strings, which is really awesome. Now this is a zombie spawner. I put some torches down so they wouldn't spawn all over the place because they make such a big noise. Anyway, in here we have four music discs, two buckets, and three iron ingots, which is pretty awesome. I like that. It's really great. Anyways, I'm just going to head out here and walk around the mineshaft a little bit. Like I said, this mineshaft has a lot of stuff in it, and it's, it's a pretty big mineshaft too, so I got lost in it. But there's a lot of exposed minerals. And um, yeah, so I really, really like this map. And if you guys enjoyed this seed, I don't know, why do I keep saying map? I don't know. Well, it's kind of a map anyway. So if you guys enjoyed this seed, please leave a like and um, leave a comment or anything. And yeah, don't worry. I'll leave the as I said, I'll leave the coordinates to everything in the description. So don't worry about that. Anyways, as always, guys, have a great day. See ya.